Hi. Well, the, this tutorial we're going to like download the crypts um, for C++ uh, and C programming. Now, anyone that's used um, Eclipse um, for Java um, will know that, that Eclipse um, is Java based, it's based on Java and it needs Java to run, installed to, to be able to run, but it can run on any platform, that's the advantage it's got. And if you used it for Java or any other language, then you'll be used to the environment. So if you're new to C++ and you've done Java, then you'll be able to use Eclipse if you want to um, for C++. And uh, you need what you need is a compiler. It's a, it's a. The Eclipse will show you the indentation and highlighted keywords, etc. But won't compile it. So what you need, you need is that's that's to download Java. So, but what you what you do need is you need the like, the compiler is min gw. There's other ones, but we're going to do this one. And you go to this website here and download it. And let's see if I can get the whole thing. Right, that's the whole thing there. Um, and so you download it, it will download in so many seconds and open it up, I'll show you, I'll see if I can show you. See, this is, a, this is a, the, the file you're downloading, so I'm just showing you it because it's off the screen. And download it open it up, I'm going to do that to show you um, I've already installed it but I'm going to show you next next and this is a key point the first time I've done it, I've done this one here, the pre-packaged one it didn't work, there was errors with it so after a few tries I changed it to download the latest depository and catalogs and it so that's a key point and so go next accept next and this is a default um, directory or folder what if you want to call it um, to install it use the default one and so go next because it's important for for doing your environmental variables and for other programs to know where to go next and use its name again and this is a key point here you want C compiler but you also want the C++ compiler and um, you can half it all off there if you want but what you do want is you want these two bottom ones here this MSYS basic system is important as well the min GW development tools is important so that's what you want to do next and install and when it installs, what it will do is it will, will download the, the latest versions and then install them. And that way you'll get one that's working. And you would click install and it will start to install. I'm going to cancel it because I've already done that part of it. And so so that's that would be like your, your, your C++ compiler. There's one more thing you've got to do is open up the control panel like so, open up system there's, there's many different ways to get to this but this is uh, the way I find fastest way of doing it is click advanced system settings this is Vista I have, it may be different um, for the Windows computer you're using and once you're in here, it may be that you get to system properties and have to go to advanced yourself where you're heading for is environmental variables click and what you want here is you want to go to path this is like the, if someone remembers DOS you had to, um, you'd have to, there was a keyword path in DOS um, and you'd put it in the batch file and when the system loaded all these directories that was in the path would be put into the, the, the system path so any files within that would be automatically accessed right, sorry but I had to go and answer the door so I'm I don't know if I explained path. Well, you go to path, 
and inside here you can see like this Ruby this Windows Systems 32 and when you're on a file there's a path of a file and so if I had like, a Word document and I double click the Word document and it, it automatically opens up Word um, with my document inside it so I can process it well the computer doesn't know where Word is unless we put it in a path tells um, Windows when a doc gets correct um, the word is in a certain directory so it knows exactly where to go to find it well this is what this path is when we, when we put in I'll show you this what we do is we create path, edit so we can edit it and you see at the end here I've got C min G W M S Y S um, backslash 1.0 backslash bin semicolon to end the command that's we need that um, for the C++ MS YS and then I put this one here in and stopped it but we don't need to do that part I just was playing safe when I was doing that just in case we did need that uh, so the next one you need the next one you need is C colon backslash min GW backslash bin semicolon that's what you need and that accesses the stuff within bin and so and what I'll do is actually not bad rather than just saying it and I'm just going to cut it you need that one in there and you need this one as well so you need you need them two inside this path and after each command you've got a semicolon and that means that Eclipse will be able to find the compiler when it's compiling your program to make binaries and so so that's something that you need when you install the, the, the compiler with min gw so we'll go ok ok remember that when you do this it's got to be saved the changes and all that and so that's that part done and get rid of this as well don't save and so that's it that's it the C++ compiler compiled well and on the system if it's installed right there won't be any errors um, but something you've got to download is the Eclipse and what you've got to do here is, is you go to this web page here um, click this and this folder will appear in a zip folder you can take it out of the zip folder sometimes it doesn't work in a zip folder I showed you I made this small one showed you before so, so you'll take it outside the zip folder, there's a folder within the zip folder and done it um, and so and when you open it up this is what this is what you'll have um, and when you hear I opened up a, a project new project and you can see C++ and then I called it begin and so what you've got to do is you've got to right click the project properties and then you've got to let's see go to um, C++ build tools chain and make sure it's min gw gcc here if it go down you'll see that it's I had this installed and I took it away I was trying this one but I decided to go for the min gw um, and so and it works so I'm happy and so that's the one you want there um, for the C++ compiler um, and you can select tools Right, these are all in here, Assembler, Archive, Compiler, C-Rinker and C++-Rinker, you need all them. And so, so 
once once you've got that set, um, what you need to set in, so you go to settings and let's see, set command as this is uh, so I think you could just leave it like that. If not, what you need to do is need to type in the path M I N G W backslash bin backslash M I N G W thirty two dot exe. Right, I got that seems to be working okay. So they so once they they are set like that, all you need to do you can close that down, go to Windows window in the crypts preferences and you can see I've already been here and done this. I went to the C++ um, it should open like this, so open up C++ then I open up make and then I make, up make, make file editor then I go to settings and then here I click new and I give it the path of the min gw um, backslash bin and then bins all the execution files for that and so that's what I've done and then I clicked a apply ok and that's it all set up and so to, to prove I can put another C out and L Yeah, for that, you, this should be printed to screen before please enter and so what we need to do is save it you always to fit, you've always got to save it in C++ where in the Java one you don't have to save it all the time because it will still compile it, compile it. so turn it into compile the program yeah it's took 2631 milliseconds and so look it's working spelt but spelt it wrong that proves that that is a string and so all we need to do is type in name and there you go the program's working and oops so you can't see that so we'll do this right now you can see this this is what appeared here and please enter name Charles welcome Charles to Eclipse for C++ and so it's working so so that's how you install that's how you in, you install like C++ for Eclipse and and it's it's called like Europa um, and so you can also go to help and software updates and find and install and updates or you can do this next and you can see it's Europa discovery site well I can put a new set if if you were running a different version of Eclipse it wouldn't be Europa discovery sites and you would roam for for CDT or Europa discovery sites and you'd be able to import it that way and um, let's see import sites no but that's how you do it anyway. So I hope that's helped and thank you for your time.